hi and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here please consider subscribing for vibes in today's video i'm going to teach you how to use the stop mode of an stm32 microcontroller my name is ali and you are watching CGHQ. Stop mode is one of the low power modes of the STM32 microcontroller. It is designed to minimize power consumption while retaining the contents of the SRAM and register configurations. Stop mode is ideal when you need the microcontroller to wait for an external event without performing active tasks. For example, this can be for a device that only wakes up to respond to the user input. The key features of stop mode include power efficiency where the microcontroller retains critical data in the SRAM while shutting down unnecessary components. Fast wake up where the microcontroller can return to active mode quickly upon detecting a wake up signal as well as wake up resources such as external interrupt like a button and RTC or other configured peripherals. To start coding, open up STM32 Cube IDE and click on create a new STM32 project. Click on board selector and then type in the part number of the microcontroller that you are using. Then click on next. And then for the project name, we can just call it stop mode. We're not gonna be connecting anything to a microcontroller. So click on pinout and then clear all the pinouts. Then go to system core and then under RCC, click on the high speed log and enable the crystal ceramic resonator and then go to system and then under debug click on serial wire then go to pc13 and then initialize it as a gpio external interrupt because this is the pin that is attached to the push button on our microcontroller this is the button that we're going to use to wake up our microcontroller from the stop mode then go to system core again click on gpio and then go to nvic and then enable the external interrupt then click on pin pa5 and initialize it as a gpio output this is the pin that is connected to the onboard led and then go to connectivity click on u add to and then enable asynchronous communication we're just going to leave the default settings as they are if you don't know what you said communication is there's a link in the description of this video that will take you to a video where i explain everything that has to do with you add and using serial communication to send and receive data between your microcontroller and a computer then we can just go to clock configuration and then here ensure that our microcontroller is running at the maximum speed and then click on control and s to save generate the code and switch to the new perspective then you're gonna come here where it says private include and then here we're going to include the string.h header file we're going to make two strings for the two messages that we're going to transmit in the code so you can just say character and then message one then we can just call this one entering stop mode and then for the second message just copy this one and then change this to message two and then we can call this one exiting from external interrupt and then here in user code begin to what we're going to do is that we're going to enable the powered log to do this just say underscore underscore hal underscore rcc underscore pwr and then we're going to double click on this one that says clock enable then we're going to turn on the onboard led for like 10 seconds before we automatically enter stop mode so just double click on this one that says right pin and then here it's going to be gpio a and then it's pin pin 5 and then here we want to send a value of 1 to turn on the led and then we're going to add a delay so that the led can be on for like 10 seconds before we automatically enter stop mode then we're going to transmit the entering stop mode message we're going to say hal underscore uart underscore transmit and then double click on the first one it's going to be uart2 and then the data that we're going to transmit is going to be the first message so we're going to say uint8 underscore t message one and then the size is going to be the string length of message one and then for the timeout, we're just going to use the HAL maximum delay. And then at this point, we're going to enter the stop mode. But before we enter the stop mode, we need to suspend the SysTick to save power. So we're going to say HAL underscore suspend. And then double click on this one that says suspend tick. Then we're going to switch off the LED before entering the stop mode so you can just copy and paste that line of code and then send a value of zero to switch off the led and then we can say hal underscore pwr underscore enter 
control and space and then double click on this one that says enter stop mode and then now this function for entering stop mode requires two parameters the regulator and the stop entry so hold on control and click on the function and it will open the c file and then you can scroll up and we see that these two parameters there's a description for these two parameters there's two types of uh, regulators we can enter stop mode with the first one is uh, entering stop mode with the main regulator on or entering stop mode with the low power regulator on so what we are going to do is that we are going to use the second one where we enter stop mode with the low power regulator on so we can put it here and then we can go back there and then we see that the stop entry as well has a couple of options the first one is uh, is entering stop mode with wfi or entering stop mode with wfe the one we're going to use is entering stop mode with wfi since we're going to be using an interrupt so we just paste it here at this point on our code our microcontroller is inside the stop mode so now we need to write the logic to wake it up from stop mode so just scroll down to where it says user code begin for we're going to write the logic for our interrupt callback which is basically the interrupt service routine to do that just go to drivers here on the left hand side expand this folder and then get inside the src folder and then double click on this one that says gpio.c you just do control and f to search and then search for hal gpio external interrupt callback and then once you're inside we need this function here so copy from here return back to the main c file and then paste it here where it says user code begin for this is the callback function for all the external interrupt so we need to check which pin or which button triggered the external interrupt so to do that we need to say if gpio underscore pin is gpio underscore pin underscore 13 the pin that is connected to our push button we then put the logic inside of this if statement to wake up from stop mode when the microcontroller wakes up the first thing we want to do is to resume the system take just write this function and then below it what uh, another thing that we want to do is to reconfigure the system clock so just say system clock configure then we can just transmit the exiting from stop mode message to let us know that the microcontroller is active again so we can go back up and then just copy this hal transmit function then just paste it here and then here we're now going to transmit message number two after the interrupt service routine has finished executing uh the code in our microcontroller is going to flow like normal so it's going to make its way into the main while loop which is here so we can just add some a little bit of code here to let us know when the code has made its way into the main while loop so here what we can do is that we can just toggle the onboard led every 300 milliseconds to know that we have now made it inside the main while loop so you can just say hal underscore toggle and then it's going to be gpio a and then pin 13 then we can add a delay so that we toggle this pin every 300 milliseconds and then we can click on this hammer to build our project to check if there are no errors or warnings and then we see that there's a couple of errors which is nothing we can fix so we can just go to where the error has been indicated and we see here under gpio pin it's actually supposed to be a capital p so we can just build our project again to see if all the errors have been fixed and you see it says finish building with zero errors and zero warnings so we can now connect our microcontroller to the pc and then click on this green play button to upload the code to the microcontroller go to the debugger and then click on st link and click on scan then click on apply and then click on ok when the code is finished uploading we can now open our serial terminal app I'm going to be using party but any serial terminal app should work and then we need to check the com port of our microcontroller and the baud rate speed so to confirm the baud rate speed you can just go back to the pin configuration user interface and then we see here that the baud rate is 115200 and it matches this one here on our serial terminal app and then to check the com port just 
go to device manager and then click on the port and we see here under ST link ST microelectronics we see that our microcontroller is connected to COM10 so we just come here and then changes to 10 and then I'm just gonna go here to appearance and then I'll just increase the font a little bit so that it's easier to read on the screen and then you can just click on open when we click on the reset button to start our code from the beginning we see that it starts with the led turn on and then after 10 seconds it should transmit the message that it has entered stop mode and then after 10 seconds we indeed see that the led has turned off and the microcontroller has transmitted the message that it has entered stop mode so now it is going to remain in stop mode until we press the user button so we're just going to press the user button and we see that it has transmitted that it has exited stop mode from the external interrupt now our code should be inside of the main while loop then we can see the led blinking every 300 milliseconds to show that our code is now inside the main while loop and that's it for today's video please like share and subscribe and if you have found the video useful or you have any feedback please let me know in the comment section below also if you want to help the channel grow by getting more components and equipment for more videos like this please uh, consider checking out the paypal donations link in the description of this video thank you so much i will see you in the next upload